today we are uh, installing stiff ring into the air track that's uh, already hoisted up in the air. This is probably my last and final mod for this car. The reason why I'm installing stiff ring is because the um, I find that the subframe moves a little bit, uh, making my alignment off center. Um, every time I go up and down my driveway, which is um, very, very off camber, every time I drive up my driveway, um, one of my wheels will be hanging and the car will titter totter on two wheels. That um, places a lot of stress on the, uh, on the chassis and the frame of the car and um, makes the subframe run to one side. I find that every time I go up and come down and then I start driving, my car pulls to the left a lot. But after about five kilometers of driving, two or three kilometers of driving, um, my car finally you know, stabilizes and then it doesn't pull to the left anymore. Alignment is perfect again and um, my steering wheel is centered again. So it is just a momentarily, momentarily uh, moved, shifted subframe which um, I suspect causes that um, uh, problem in the alignment and the pulling to the left. Um, it has, this, this problem has occurred um, for a long time and uh, I, w I suspected it was due to the um, installation of the EVO subframe into the air track but um, after doing some research and checking the tolerance and the uh, nut bolt um, holes, they are the same. Air track as well as EVO subframes have the same tolerance um, in, the, in the whole space and um, the only solution that I see here is to install stiff ring. I have been source differing on my uh, ProDua Alza before in the past which um, actually uh, provided a more stable alignment setup. I never had any alignment issues in my Alza after I've installed the, the, the stiff ring and it also, um, it also is stopped a lot of vibration, noise uh, made the Alza more solid, stiffer to drive um, and this was a long time ago, many many years ago. So um, there were there were quite a lot of benefits, but I got used to it and took it for granted. Um, in this case, I think I, I'm I'm already fed up of uh, having the alignment run and um, having the uh, uh, having to always counter my steer after parking the car on an uneven surface or even after jacking the car up on one corner. Um, yeah, I'm fed up of that. It happens very often and uh, sometimes even making a full full lock-to-lock uh, -lock steering action does make the uh, subframe run and uh, my alignment run for a short while. It is not my steering bush, my power steering bush, which um, I've checked and it's not anything else. There was a time where I uh, tightened the, uh, the subframe nuts and bolts extremely tight and um, I remedied that problem for a short while, maybe four or five days and then the problem came back. So I know it's the subframe that's moving. I hope uh, this new addition, subframe bush, stiff ring, um, I will be able to remedy my problem for once and for all as well as uh, gain all the extra bonuses and advantages of uh, stiff ring. I know that after installing stiff ring, I will have to do alignment. So uh, let's get it over with and then I will give you feedback again in the future after I have some, um, some experience with it and uh, some results and results of, the, uh, of this installation. Meanwhile, this is how my car looks now. Ultra racing bars, really good for, for the car. I had to put this amount of washers to clear my exhaust. The back okay, front no good.
Terus-terus pasang terbalik Haa Haa Dari video macam ni boleh nampak lah Hmm Alright so Haa dah masuk kan Haa dah masuk <coughs> We've got one stiff ring On the top On oh, the sub frame Ini aku tak ngam Ya Crack ngam lagi Ya And one at the bottom here And even a Stiff ring here at the bottom of this subframe but not the top we are 100% reliant on this this stiff ring here to center the subframe on both sides this side hasn't been done yet so we'll have to do it now Trying to get the stiff ring in between subframe and chassis. It's been placed in. Then the second piece will go on to here. Big aluminum washer mm. is the stiff ring. This piece. In case um, you don't know, we've already installed um, six pieces into the front subframe. These are stiff rings. These are the small ones for the rear. What they do is actually wedge themselves between the subframe and the chassis and the bolt goes right in the center and that way the bolt and the and the subframes are all 100% centered this image and this image will illustrate where the stiff ring goes and how it centers itself centers the subframe to the chassis finished product for the front subframe you won't be able to see much here front subframe done okay the next two stiff rings will go on the back of the subframe as we loosen the uh, as the uh, screws are removed the stiff rings are installed you see the silver bit at the bottom of the screw that's the stiff ring being screwed in to center the subframe to the hole So you have it just like that. All the stiff rings are installed. Ten pieces, front and back. Six pieces in front and four pieces at the back. Done. Mission accomplished.
fully installed. Front and back. Won't be able to see the one that's in between the subframe and the chassis, but it's there. Complete. All right, guys. I'll let you know what the update is as soon as I drive it. I'll probably find that my car needs an alignment. Hi, YouTube. Good morning. Um, very nice morning today, not so hot, skies are uh, clear and blue. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm driving the air track. And um, this is the to wrap up the, um, the stiff ring installation, the conclusion of it. I have been using the car with um, after having installed stiff ring for the past three weeks and um, have uh, been satisfied and would consider my problem of a um, loose subframe or a moving subframe solved. No more issues there. Um, every time I uh, go in and out my house, um, start to drive, the car doesn't pull to the left anymore, which it used to always do. And alignment is always straight now, so I can let go of my steering wheel and the car will not pull left, it will go track straight which is perfect, um, just the way I like it. My steering wheel is also straight, alignment is all spot on. Um, no more issues there. Very happy, stiff ring solved the problem. And um, yeah, I would like to give a big thumbs up to stiff ring. Um, I would occasionally check on the um, talking of uh, the subframe bolts and uh, just to make sure that they don't come loose um, aside from that no more issues now the cost what did it cost me to do to install the stiff rings um, I had a very good deal by the stiff ring creator himself um, who is located in uh, Alam Damai they charged me 360 ringgit or 350 ringgit for a set of 10 stiff rings, 10 pieces of them. And um, installation was supposed to be 90 ringgit. So 350 ringgit for the stiff rings, installation 90 ringgit. It would have cost me 440 ringgit uh, to do the entire job. But um, he gave me a very good deal and charged me a little bit less than that. Um, so, uh, actually, he charged me, to be honest with you, I'll just say it right out. He charged me 40 ringgit for labor. So, um, I got it all done for 390 ringgit. And um, I think it was, um, well, it's it's a little bit, it's quite a lot of money for just small, small aluminum rings and um, essentially uh, machined washers or spacers, if you want to call it that. But... Um, it really does its job. It, the function of it is to center the bolt to the uh, uh, subframe and uh, vehicle's chassis frame bolt hole, thus making the subframe rigid and uh, not being able to move. It, effectively, the stiff ring becomes a collar so that the uh, subframe and the chassis lines up perfectly true and they are able to sit true and well permanently there, there will be no free play there will be no movement and um, gets rid of all the uneven surface of the subframe and the chassis frame so um, it's a it's in conclusion a, a very well worth job for me having the issue of um, of a subframe moving and shifting every time I go up an uneven road so uh, an, an, an uneven ramp just yeah ramp and um, and uh, it's it's a little bit annoying um, you know makes me feel like um, my my uh, my caster has moved 
and uh, makes me feel that my alignment is totally out of whack for a good few minutes until the subframe settles or I hit a, a rough patch of road and it settles back down to its normal position. So yeah, in conclusion, perfect, very happy, done, problem solved, no more issues. Alright, if anything, just hit me up, send me a message and I'll come back to you. Thank you. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.